non-invasive follicular thyroid neoplasm with papillary-like nuclear features. Diagnosis Pathologic Diagnostic Criteria Inclusion Criteria Major Features Encapsulation or Clear Demarcation Follicular Growth Pattern with Less Than 1% Papillae If Solid, Trabcular or Insular Patterns Seen, These In Total Should Be Less Than 30% Of The Total Tumor Volume No Samoma Bodies Nuclear Features Of Papillary Thyroid Carcinoma, Enlargement Crowding, overlapping, elongation, irregular contours, grooves, pseudo inclusions, chromatin clearing, nuclear score should be 2 or 3. Minor features Dark colloid, irregularly shaped follicle, sprinkling sign, follicles cleft from stroma, multinucleated giant cells within follicles, exclusion criteria, any capsular or vascular invasion. But if the whole capsule has not been examined thoroughly then the default diagnosis is still non-invasive encapsulated FVPTC if, and it is not an if. True papillary structures in more than 1% of tumor volume, samoma bodies, infiltrative border. Tumor necrosis, not associated with FNA, increased mitosis, defined as at least 3 per 10 HPF. Cell Morphological characteristics of any other papillary thyroid carcinoma variant, for example, dull cell, columnar cell, cribrif ovum morular, diffuse sclerosing, etc., or oncocytic lesion, JAMA on call 2016 semicolon 2 to 1023. Prognostic factors Excellent, based on an international, multidisciplinary, Retrospective study in which all 109 participants with non-invasive IFT were alive with no evidence of disease at a median follow-up time of 13 years, JAMA on call 2016 semicolon 2 to 1023, MOD PATH 2016 semicolon 29 to 698. Gross description. Well circumscribed encapsulated solid nodules, head neck PATH 2011 MAR. 551. Microscopic, histologic, description. Nuclear features of papillary thyroid carcinoma present. Each category is assigned a score of 0 or 1, resulting in an overall score between 0 to 3, where a total of 0 to 1 is not diagnostic of NIFP and 2 to 3 is diagnostic of NIFP. Size and shape, nuclear enlargement, overlapping, crowding, Elongation Nuclear membrane irregularities, irregular contours, grooves, pseudo inclusions Chromatin characteristics, clearing with margination, glassy nuclei Fibrous capsule may be thick, thin, partial or the lesion may be well circumscribed, clearly demarcated from adjacent thyroid tissue Follicular growth pattern may be microfollicular normofollicular or macrofollicular with abundant colloid, JAMA on call 2016 semicolon 2 to 1023. The rising incidence of papillary thyroid carcinoma is linked in part to inclusion of non-invasive follicular variant of papillary thyroid carcinoma. Despite its designation as carcinoma, non-invasive follicular variant of papillary thyroid carcinoma appears to be exceptionally indolent often over-treated by current treatment practices. Additionally, criteria for diagnosis have historically been subjective and challenging. Recently, an international multidisciplinary collaborative group performed a clinicopathologic survey of such cases with extended follow-up and concluded based on the outcome data that a revision in nomenclature was warranted, proposing non-invasive follicular thyroid neoplasm with papillary-like nuclear features NIF. The introduction of non-invasive follicular thyroid neoplasm with papillary-like nuclear features NIFP, affects the risk of malignancy ROM, mostly in the Bethesda system for reporting thyroid cytopathology TBSRDC, categories. In this multi-institutional, retrospective study, 
the authors investigated variations in the impact of a NIFT diagnosis on the associated DROM for each TBSRTC category with an emphasis on the influence of pathologist and institutional diagnostic thresholds on the ROM. Methods Baseline data on cytology and histology diagnostic categories were collected over a three-year period at three academic center hospitals, institutions A, B, and C. Histology slides for all cases diagnosed as follicular variant of papillary thyroid carcinoma, FVPTC, were re-reviewed at each institution, and those that qualifying as NIFT were separated from other PTCs. Results the collective case cohort from the three institutions included 15,973 thyroid fine needle aspiration cytology FNAC, specimens and 5,090 thyroid surgical resection specimens. Significant differences in baseline cytology and histology data were noted among the three institutions. The number of cases classified as NIFT compared with FVPTC was highly variable. Institution A, 14%, Institution B, 39%, and Institution C, 12%. For 3,250 resected thyroid nodules with a previous FNIC diagnosis, the average decrease in ROM after the exclusion of NIFT for all TBSRTC categories was as follows, Institution A, 9.8%, Institution B, 3.9%, and Institution C, 1.3%. Conclusions The institutional frequency of NIFT histopathology diagnosis and cytology baseline data will impact the ROM associated with specific FNIC diagnoses, especially among the indeterminate TBSRTC categories. The range of ROM for each TBSRTC diagnostic category is reflective of the inherent diagnostic thresholds and inner observer and inner institutional variability in the diagnosis of thyroid lesions. Cancer Cytopathol 2017. Copyright 2017 American Cancer Society.